Hi, it's Joey from Day Job Hacks, and in today's video, I want to talk about marketing angles, especially in terms of affiliate marketing, because affiliate marketers that know how to come up with really good angles are the ones that are making the most money, okay? So what is it, uh, an affiliate marketing angle, or what is the angle? The angle is essentially the story behind how you're promoting the offers that you choose to promote. So coming up with really good angles and good original angles is going to prolong your affiliate marketing campaigns and it's likely going to result in a lot more money for you as an affiliate marketer. Now, there's a lot of strategy behind this and I'm going to explain some certain things you need to consider as you set up your affiliate marketing campaigns and how to choose the best angles for the offers that you want to promote. And then I'm going to talk about some strategies on how to pick uh, a new angle okay so first thing we need to consider is how we want to start our affiliate marketing campaign either you choose a niche that you uh, are, are, are looking at so you do your research you pick your niche and then you from there choose your offer and at that point you start doing research on a particular angle that you might want to use now as affiliate marketers um, especially myself anyway for in performance marketing I generally start with the offer so I'll go to the CPA network or the affiliate network that I'm working with and I'll look at the offers that they have on the network and I'll start at that point. So um, it, that's really a matter of choice whether you want to start at the niche level, do a bunch of research on the niches and then choose the offer after. So whatever niche you choose is up to you, but I'm going to be starting at the offer level usually. So I'll just go in again to the network and review all of the offers on the CPA network to see one that I might think is good. So now once I see the offers on the network, I'm going to look at the data and I'm going to talk to my affiliate manager. And I'm going to ask them, you know, maybe some ideas on what is an angle that I can use because the, the regular angles that everyone is using, for example, let's talk about um, let's say I want to sell a flashlight and that the flashlight offer everybody's seen the flashlight offer it went super big a couple years ago and the angle that was used for that was you know police are urging Americans to have this at all times or you know they were using fear and and that kind of storyline to sell the flashlight so by using the exact same story that everyone else is using, I mean, sure it works for a short period of time, but if you wanna continue selling the flashlight over and over, you have to come up with new angles, okay? So generally what I'll do is I'll see the offer that I know is working and I'll ask for what the angle is. If they're not going to tell me what the angle is, then I'll do some research online and it's really easy to find the angles just by going on different platforms. So for example, behind me I have CNN, CNN, is a platform, is a news network. You can go on there right now and you can see at the bottom of the posts all of these ads that are being ran. And native ads are usually the best ones to do research on because they're, they use a headline and then they generally go to a story. So the headline is usually captivating. This is the angle. So choosing that headline is important. For example, here we have the, un, the unusual link between eggs and diabetes, okay? So that is the angle that this advertiser is using or this affiliate, whoever is running that ad, is using the, uh, the idea of the linkage between eggs and diabetes and it captures people's attention so they go to the landing page and they read about this story, okay? Now as long as the landing page is the same story, then that conversion rate is going to be decent, okay? Depending on whether that angle is a good angle. So once we choose the offer, there's other ways to find the angles. There's tools you can use actually. And one of the tools that I use is Adplexity. Now this is just a general competitive intelligence tool that you can go in, you can sign up and you can start typing in keywords or you can enter in the offer name of the offer you wanna run and it'll bring you up all these ads that this tool has pulled off the internet so that you can see the different angles that are being used to promote this particular offer, okay? so. I generally do not just rip and, and run those angles. I'll try and tweak it just a little bit and usually that results in better uh, results because the campaign will last longer. It's not being beaten down because everybody that's running the same angles, usually it dies out and that's what happens in performance marketing is that the angles usually die out You know, within a year, uh, sometimes a little longer, sometimes less, okay? So it all depends on how long that angle is going to work before everyone just kind of gets sick of that angle and then you have to come up with a new one. So if you start with your own angle, it's gonna last a lot longer and this is especially true if you're using uh, Facebook ads. So let's get into traffic. Now you have your offer, you need to now decide on the angle so you have a few ideas on the angle. Now you have to think about the traffic source 
is the traffic source going to allow you to target those specific people that that angle is going to work with? So for example, if your angle is uh, how pregnant women can lose weight fast after pregnancy, then or after a birth then you obviously have to be able to target females that have had babies and there's not very many traffic sources out there that allow you to do that um, aside from you know the big ones like facebook will allow you to target that narrow google search will let you do that so if you choose keywords related to your specific angle then that is going to work so you have to consider the traffic source and your angle and whether you're able to target that specific angle um, through the targeting options of your traffic source. So keep that in mind. Bing is another option where you can target keywords. Um, once you start getting into interests and stuff like that, you really have, you're really you limited because on native ads, there are some networks that allow you to target by interest. Um, and so your display ads will show on specific landing pages or specific news networks that are catered around certain people. Now, this is CNN, so obviously this is going to be a broad audience. So if you're running traffic on CNN, you're going to have an uh, you're going to need to have an angle that is broad to a lot of people so that is why the flashlight angle kind of worked because it was broad in respect to the fact that everybody is concerned about their safety okay so uh, using that angle safety for a flashlight was good for big major news networks and that's why it, it skyrocketed and it blew up because there was basically just flashlights everywhere you could see ads everywhere for these flashlights now the next thing to consider is your headline and its relation to your next stage in your in your process here so we're, we're essentially building a campaign here we've got the offer we have the angle now you have to make sure the traffic source is going to allow that angle or allow you to target the angle and now you have to move into your headline so the headline has to really interrupt somebody from what they're already doing and so you're going to see news style headlines working a lot better for these type for for running really um good angles especially in affiliate offer style campaigns so you're going to see headlines like um you know man quits job after hitting the jackpot or something like that if you're running a casino ad you've probably seen these ads before you've seen you know this guy that worked in a fast food joint quit his job and now he's you know rich because he played at this casino or there's other ones you know um if you're looking at flat belly fix which is another popular offer it's a diet offer you're going to see the angle of health being a major concern so like this guy on the page is talking about his his wife who's had a heart attack on an airplane um, all these things to make fear amongst people right this is a general broad type of angle that people are like whoa i gotta think about that like i really have to read this story so that is the type of thing that affiliates do well is if you're creative enough you can come up with really good angles and put them in your headline so that you capture the audience and then you send them to the landing page so this is the next thing you need to consider is are you going to send that traffic to a landing page or are you going to go directly to the offer so it's either direct link or landing page now in the case of affiliate marketing we always recommend using a landing page because you have full control over the data and you can also capture emails and all that stuff and build yourself an actual following or an email list okay now on the other thing on the other perspective i guess is if the offer itself from the affiliate network is well designed and is a pre-sell for the actual service or product that they're selling then it makes sense to direct link so sometimes on cpa networks they will have the angle already built into their offer page so you can actually just use the angle and direct link to the offer page and this could work but i highly recommend you use a landing page and develop your own story so that you can have your own tweaks on the angle itself or the story. Now, one thing to consider is don't give up if you just try it first and you try the first headline and you try the first landing page and it goes to the offer and it doesn't work for you. You have to test different offers using the same angle, test different headlines, test different landing pages, and make sure that all along the chain, right from the headline to the landing page to the offer, it's the same angle, okay? And you're targeting the same people that would be uh, responsive to that type of angle that you're running. Okay, so let's talk about five ways to pick an angle or to find new angles, okay? So number one is competitive research. Now again, I've told you about the, the fact that CNN has a bunch of ads, but if you go and you can do this for free, you can go on Google and start searching keywords or search the offer itself um, that you're promoting, you will find other articles that are, are using angles to try and sell this product, okay? 
or you will find other ads just by going and doing manual research. So this is free. You just go out and do it. Spend a couple hours doing this if you have to. Come up with different angles and then put those angles into different uh, categories. So you can have one angle that you're going to test and have all the headlines and the landing pages and then the second angle and from there you just continue on until you find a few different angles and then come up with your own if you can. So that is the best way to do this is competitive intelligence and <clears throat> the tool Adplexity is a great tool to use if you're going to try and just do this quickly so you can just go in. There's other ones out there, just search for competitive intelligence tools. There's some free ones, just go on Google and search around. I'm sure you'll find something and you can find different ads. And also another one is uh, the Facebook ads library. So if you just go on there and you type in a page, uh, you can find all the ads running for that page um, for free. So you don't need to use some special paid tool to do that. Number two is to actually get into the mind of your potential target audience. And now to do this, there's a really easy way that I use, and that is I use the actual Facebook um, Audience Insights tool. <clears throat> Again, this is a free tool. You can go in there, type in the keywords that you're looking for, or perhaps the offer sometimes. It'll bring up the interest, it'll bring up your audience, and then you can see who is interested in that, and then you can also go into the pages of other pages these people like. You can look at their ads, again, in the library, and this is just a way to get into the mind of who you're actually targeting and so that you can find maybe other angles you can use that have not actually been used yet by the masses, like um, all the affiliates. Usually when an angle is working really well, um, it's going to be shared, it's gonna go like wildfire. Affiliate managers are gonna be telling other affiliate managers, they're gonna be telling other affiliates, if you can be low key and run under the radar with your own angle, you're gonna make a lot more money um, for the long term. Number three is I use emotions in a lot of my headlines and in my stories. So I'm triggering emotions. So either fear, um, love, um, what else do I use? Missing out on something like a, an opportunity that is, you know, uh, only available now. So using like that, oh my God, I have to get it now kind of mentality. Um, there's also um, taking care of family and, and like your needs. So anything that relates to life and, and breathing and eating and all that kind of stuff, what we need to do to live our lives, that stuff is, uh, you know, hits home with a lot of people and you can twist little angles and, and you can create either fear or love or like I said, missing out on something. Um, these are good types of strategies to use when you're coming up with your own angles. Number four is a really easy one. Just focus on niches that you already know. So if you are very, you know, this is going back to the start when I was talking about choosing the niche first or choosing the offer first. If you are looking to do a niche that you already understand, then you're gonna have a lot better chance of coming up with new angles because you know the target audience already, you know what they need, and you know what uh, kinds of headlines and stories are going to attract those people and get them to read the story and perhaps buy or become a lead for whatever offer you're, you're promoting. So this works well, um, especially uh, um, if you have a, a niche that is kind of off the radar. However, it might be harder for you to find affiliate offers that will work if your niche is too narrow. So just consider that you have to find other affiliate networks. We do have a blog post, there's a link below that talks about uh, multiple different affiliate programs that are great that you can check out that have hundreds or thousands of offers you can check out. So just check that out below in the, in the comments or in the, in the description below. And the last one is, uh, I kind of touched upon it earlier in the other one, but it's, it's survival is, is, is one of the angles that I use in a lot of different products. So I can use survival, um, it, it's, it's, it really went big in terms of the, the tactical angle that's been going around for the last few years where you have a tactical pen, you have a tactical flashlight, uh, tactical baby gear, whatever it is, right? You're, you're surviving, you're getting through life and you're you know, protecting yourself and protecting your family and all that kind of stuff. So using that in any type of product can, can work well. So if you can think of ways that you can use the product to prolong your life or make yourself safer, um, that works well with people, a general, a broad spectrum of people. So try that as well. So by coming up with your own marketing angles for the offers that you're promoting as an affiliate, you're gonna find that your, your campaigns are gonna last a lot longer. You're gonna see some 
improved ROI right from the start too. I find it especially on Facebook, if you come up with a new angle and run an offer that's proven to be profitable on Facebook, but you come up with a new angle, right away you're gonna have higher click-through rates, lower click costs, and probably increased ROI just if your angle is good enough to, to withstand the, the masses of traffic that are going to come to it. So you're gonna have some benefits. And if you differentiate, differentiate yourself as an affiliate marketer, this is how the real good affiliates um, continue to make money for a living. They're not constantly chasing uh, new stuff. They're just coming up with new angles and running the same campaigns that have proven to work over time. So if you like this video, please do all those things. Like, share, whatever it is. Subscribe, comment. All the links are below that you can refer to um, in terms of what I've been speaking of and some other references that you can access. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next videos.